What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Google Voice. If you haven't activated Google Voice, I do have a video that will show you how to do that. Please look at my other videos in my channel. And before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up with the latest and greatest. Now this setup is assuming you already have Google Voice set up. Google Voice done through the computer is pretty much like having a, a secondary phone. There's a lot of benefits to it. The person you're calling, in this case, it would be a parent that you're calling or somebody else. They won't get your real number. They'll get a Google Voice automated number. And also, uh, another great benefit about having Google Voice is that once you close Google Voice, the calls can be coming in all night long, but you will not be disturbed because the Google Voice is closed. So that's a major, major benefit right there. In this scenario, I am going to, I as a, as a teacher, I am going to call a parent. I have a parent's phone number, so I'm just going to dial it so you guys can see how this works. I'm going to call my own phone number. Hello? Hello? Yes. yes. How can I help you? How can I help you? That is how you make a call to uh, a parent using Google Voice. Now, let's assume the parent calls you back and you have your, your, this is a way it would sound if a parent would call you back. I'm going to get on my phone as a parent and see this missed number, so I'm just going to call you back. And Google Voice will try to connect you. This is Mr. Smith. So because I have my app open, it wants to tell, hey, they're, they're telling you, hey, there's a call coming in. Now I'm going to leave it so that the voicemail comes out. So that you guys can see what happens when a voicemail is... is when, a, when a voicemail is given. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Yes, I'm just returning your call. Please call me back at your earliest convenience. Thank you. So now it's a parent who left a message. And I don't know, it, it does take a little bit, but there it is. It took about 15 seconds at the most. We can click on the, you open up your Google Voice and you, a parent tried to get a hold of you. They couldn't get a hold of you, so they left you a, a message. So we're going to click on the message. And if you notice, it transcribes it for you. And it also gives you the voicemail. Yes, I'm just returning your call. Please call me back. At your earliest convenience. Thank you. So that's that's another benefit of Google Voice. Not only will it get give you the uh, the missed messages or the missed vo uh, voicemails, but it'll also transcribe it for you. Now let's assume that you want to text this uh, this parent and let them remind them about a parent conference. You can click on the little text button, and down here you know that this is a phone number you're texting to. So right here you're going to. Uh, Parent conference today at 3.30 p.m. And I'm going to send it. So now what you're doing is you're texting your parent. And now I just got a, a message on my phone with the message that I just sent myself. Parent conference today at 3.30. Okay. So... Let's assume the parent is at work and uh, they they can't answer the phone, but they want to confirm. They I am the parent now confirming or replying to your message. I can simply say something like, thank you. I will be there. I'm texting this from my phone, sending it to this the Google Voice number that that we uh, we established. I just sent it right now. And there comes the, the incoming message. So as you can see, Google Voice has a lot of benefits to it. You use it as a phone. You can use it uh, to send messages out. You can use it to, to uh, receive messages, not only text, but voice or a phone call. But what I really, really like about it, I'm going to reiterate this, is that the only way this works or the only way you get notifications is that if you have Google Voice open and active. So if your workday stops at 430 and you close your computer or you log out of Google Voice, anything that happens after that, you will not get notified unless you reopen Google Voice. So you're kind of controlling that aspect of it. You can also archive these if you wanted to. Um, you can, if you get too many uh, voice calls here, you can actually delete these by uh, simply pressing on these 
three little dots and we can delete and I don't know if you noticed there but it also said if you wanted to block this number uh, if you if a student by uh, uh, by accident got this number and you don't want them to be calling you you can block that number you go into your voicemails same thing here you can select here and if you don't want to see this anymore you can you have differences you can archive in case you need to go back you know and say uh, uh, i do remember talking to you here's the information or here's my proof you can mark it as spam you can block it you can even download it if you would like or you can delete it so you just kind of go there and you get you get to tailor that uh, the way you want it all right, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But this is a very, very good feature for you to have or a very, very good tool for you to have, especially right now that we're doing a lot of virtual uh, learning and, and a lot of speaking with the parents, uh, having to use your, your personal phones since um, you, you are not on the campus. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down, down below. But once again, thank you for watching.